Representing the flats boat category, the Ancona Advent 17 has an overall length of 16 feet 10 inches, a beam of 5 feet 8 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 50. Designed to track quietly through skinny water, she has a draft of 6 inches, a dry weight of 350 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 11 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts, George Labonte and Rick Riles. Well, we've been reading about this boat for months. We're finally looking at the Ancona 17-foot Advent. What a boat. What a boat is right. And it almost feels to me, George, like the road less traveled. We, we go through so many boats every day that do so many things. And here we put the cushions on as a family boat. We take it off. The, this boat is a rifle shot. This boat does what it does. And when you've got a 17-foot boat like this one is, man, every inch is important. And they have really worked hard on this hull. Yep, let's talk a little bit about that. I mean, what is this boat actually designed to do? You know, there's not that much to a technical pulling skiff. You want a boat that's shallow draft. You want a boat that's quiet. And when I say quiet, I mean it'll sit and move in the water quietly. All right, think about that. If you're trying to catch a fish in a foot of water, that fish is going to be aware of your presence. It's hard to sneak up on a fish in a foot of water and him not know about you. A quiet boat will get you closer and get you within casting range before they're aware of your presence, okay? This boat is a quiet boat. George, years ago when redfish tournaments were first starting out, I saw guys with pieces of carpet hung off their boat because they said they had to protect from the hull slap. I thought it was the stupidest thing I'd ever heard. It's not, okay? But fish definitely hear a wave hitting the side of your boat. They do. Hence the reason why they built this boat the way they built it. A 16 foot, 10 inch boat that's 5'8 wide, I mean, that's a lot of room to have a boat that still goes in that six inch uh, depth, you know? And this boat really does it. I mean, so it wasn't just making another skiff for these guys, it was making a skiff that was bigger and roomier and more stable. This is a boat that you can move around on, two adults can. And you know, let's talk a little bit about features in the boat. You know, there's not much to look at on a technical skiff like this. You're gonna obviously have some storage and we've got a big box up there. The box is gonna take care of anchor line if you need it and gear. The fuel tank is under where you're sitting, obviously. And, you know, we've got two hatches right here. They're both, they're offset right here. These two hatches, one of them is a live well, okay? And it's plumbed as a live well. It's about a 10 gallon well. It looks bigger, but it's 10 gallons. And a matching one here for another storage box, which can be plumbed as a second live well if you want it. That's how I'd have it if it was my boat. But you've got that and your console. I mean, basically, you know, it's a Spartan boat. I mean, that's what they're made for, and this is what we've got. Mel also did something I thought was fascinating when he did this cap. It's almost impossible to step off of this cap onto one of your rods when they're in the racks. Oh, yeah. Which I've seen done. We've Let's... all done it. We've all broken rods. You can't do it because of where the reels are, and it's very, very well thought out. They always do a good job. You've got rod holders on both sides that'll fit a fly rod, and they're staggered, so you can stack the rods up and not have the reels piling up on top of one another. That's very clever as well. You know, another thing that really jumped out at me when I got up here, too, I like a full-width polling platform. You know, I mean, a big guy, if I'm not a great big guy, but, you know, somebody my age, my size, I mean, I don't want to stand on a tennis racket to push the boat around. This thing is really full width and it's very stable. I mean, it's, it's a comfortable place to push the boat from. George, one of the things I love about doing top of the line boats, all right, which I put this one in micro skiffs right there. As do I. Those hatches we both like, we think they're cool, they're offset like that. You realize you can reach those from on your trailer, right? I mean, that's just a little bitty thing that you'll really appreciate as an owner. That's a good point. Oh, let me pull a plug on that live well. Just lean over and do it. You couldn't do it if they were set up like most live wells are. Cool idea. If what a boat does and how it performs and how it's built is what is more important to you than how much it costs, you need to check out the Ancona Advent 17. It is a rifle shot into shallow water.